All right, so this guide is going to be about sensors, and um, throughout the years, sensors are mainly used during the autonomous portion, the 30 seconds where you have to program and make the robot move on its own. And these sensors help you complete tasks that um, almost are, are pretty much impossible to do time-based, where you have a motor and you just, like I talked about in our basic um, teleop is when you have a motor and you just basically move, or sorry, basic autonomous, when you just have it, um, motors move and have it like time base, and that's completely in inaccurate for some very delicate things, like this year we had to put a, um, a ring on a rack using um, IR, and you had to have an IR um, sensor to be able to know which one had the IR beacon, and so I have linked kind of a very extensive motor encoder guide that um, me and a um, friend um, found and also adapted and made. And this right here is um, kind of a sonar guide that I have also um, we also did, and we just really wanted to have um, I just have these two guides as an example, but um. IR is one of the most talked about and probably one of the most used and as a club we are really trying to get a really good sense of it and just to basically I don't want to talk an entire um, guide about an IR but it basically has a range of like 1 through 9 and you can kinda I think you just use this sensor value IR and it will give you a range of like 1 to 9 and you can test these ranges but it's not super accurate and so maybe next year when you guys um, get good at programming maybe you guys can uh, upload a guide about just IR specifically but um in general when we want to add anything to the robot we go to like of all I've said um, a dozen times already is that you go to custom and you, you, we have these ports S1, S2, S3, S4 and you notice on the brick that they have the bo the bottom of it has those but on the top you have a b and c and those um those can be used for sensors as um, well and but basically you can add sensors to these but um these a b and c are only for the i believe only for the lego motors but um, you can have a sensor port, and we have these things that are multiplexers. So you can plug a sensor port in here, and then you can allow, then you can put more sensors. But if you notice that we have, um, we have some sensors here. The, there's two light sensors. There's color sensor. All these are Lego made. They're um, custom sensors that we've um, made, and I'll I'll remember to link. I guess if you go to my guide where I talk about the teleop, um, I, I put our teleop guide and it has how the um, IR, how the custom sensor that we built and how it kind of programs. Um, so you can go over there. But um, basically, you have just all these different sensors that you can think of. And um, these are high technic sensors. And uh, basically, you just kind of have to find what sensor you have, plug it in, and then go to help and try to figure out how it works. But um, like I said, our sensor guide could use a, better, a bigger improvement, but I just kind of wanted to, to give some light on how it works. So yeah, um, thank you for watching.